Everybody, get on the floor. What the hell did you come here for? Props to Prince for decades of dance music, sex, and romance. Now, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called Extra Life Recap for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8, Episode 8. <laughs> this week, it's the Book Ball All Sedaris Edition, because you can't kill the rooster. <laughs> like a dog or a rooster? Yeah. Bye, boo boo. So, after a big entrance. Ooh, fantastic five! <laughs> Rue arrives looking fiercely inspired by Quentin Crisp, Simon Doonan, and maybe a little Helen Lawson. In that suit. Yes. And then, oh my god, it's the return of the annual Glory Hole Purse Fist Wall. Stick it in the hole, Purse Fist. <laughs> For puppets. Naomi Vogue's over. <laughs> reaches in, pulls out Derek. Derek reaches in, pulls out Naomi, and suddenly a little rivalry is born. Hmm. Derek and Naomi go in on each other a little bit to get prepped for the puppet fest. Okay, let me get the fabric that is the cheapest without a sparkle for Naomi. Because I don't have to rely on fabric. Which is only a hint of things to come. But there are some good lines in this puppet reading. Well, the camera adds 10 pounds. A8 like seven cameras. <laughs> I mean, who's not gonna be a little shady when you got somebody's hand up your Jokes, 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 jokes. <laughs> okay, Chi Chi doing Bob sounds a lot like Ben de la Creme doing Bianca Del Rio. It's just rah, rah, rah. Or maybe that's just what like a loud New York drag queen sounds like. And Chi Chi wins. Or Bob wins. I never lose a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Trend. So Rue sets up the book ball, which is three looks. First, little baby drags, you know, first time in drags baby style. Number two, mom looks, looks inspired by your mama. That's my mama realness. And number three, autobiographical eleganza extravaganza. Made entirely out of books. <laughs> it's called recycling. Now I know it's the book ball, but reading's not really part of the challenge, except that it is in the workroom, girl. He talked shady one day. It's gonna get severe up in here. Cat, cat, boom! Derek and Naomi are starting World War III in this beach. Okay, these happen. What's up for the paper cuts, ladies? Hey, sexy librarian. Hi, hello. So for the book ball, Derek is gonna get a high brow. Really fucking high brows like on her five head. And we learned about our girls. Discovery, Chi Chi's mom is a platinum blonde who likes to wear cheetah prints. The lady know how to cut a rug. Is her mother RuPaul? Mama Louisiana. So we hear about Bob's mom. She was sick and Bob's worried and she cries. Aww. Naomi loves her mom because she's very sweet and cool and fierce and has 12 kids and loves them all. And she's kind of rad and gorgeous. I want to meet her. Can she like adopt everyone? As I'm prepping for the book ball, there is workroom drama. I don't think your makeup is terrible. It just looks like you're not wearing any. So your makeup, if you had any on, is terrible. And Chi Chi and Derek take Naomi to task for relying on that modeling. But Naomi defends her shit. Get it, girl? I think you need some kind of talent. I mean, Naomi, I look at you as a model. Oh! And to me, that's the only talent that I've, you know what I mean, that I've seen. Right. That's what I get from I you. I agree. Then Naomi breaks it down. Being a drag queen is such a talent. You are a performer. You have to be a makeup artist. You have to be a hairstylist. Girl, this is like a drag theology 101 workshop. The drag con start early. No oh, The library has opened again. Insert shady rattlesnake noise here. Yeah, shady rattlesnake noises all around. That. So Naomi and Derek just can't agree to agree to disagree. Cause Naomi is like, you don't do drag, you do Britney. Derek is like, but Britney is my drag, it's just not draggy. And Naomi is like, well this is not RuPaul's best Britney race. And Derek is like, how come? Anyway, runway time! And can we talk for a second about Michelle Visage? Girl! Oh, yes, everything about this. She's giving me 80s Joan Severance meets Ava Gardner meets Mega Glamazon. And Amy Sedaris proves she still does Amy Sedaris better than anybody. It's mostly pictures. Illiteracy is hilarious. <laughs> and David Sedaris is just full on in love. So then we get a Jerry Blank opening number. All of this. And then the queens come out in their first look of baby drags. And I feel like we just opened a whole new layer of chaser fetish options for the world. Come through, Droopy Drawers. 
<laughs> it depends. <laughs> but she sure has poise. <laughs> then Bob gives us some queso rasa ra baby narration, which reminds me, Slime Family Stone, queso rasa ra. Look it up if you don't know it. You're welcome. She's working at Pebble Flintstones, Couture. <laughs> bam, bam. Derek is a very alarmed Ariel, like scary, but she's not quite got the jizz of it. Semen lover. <laughs> then we get That's My Mama Realness. It's sweet. A botanical sensation? Is that like a Bath and Body Works line? All I know is her sad mom is giving me very dandy, dandy lion. And Bob's runway mom look is a nice tribute, but it's kind of just like normy. Is this how you get away with drag murder? Viola Davis, uh. why is your penis on a dead girl's phone? <laughs> and Chi Chi's mom, Albertine? Mm. Yes, yes, and yes, Cheetah Girl. Needy who? Real Housewives of Shreveport. <laughs> then we get autobiographical eleganza extravaganza. Kim Chi is a big paper flower in bloom. Like paper roses. You know, the other Marie Osmond song. Music is medicine. And Naomi's cut up couture. It's a novel look. Because it's made of books. It's made of cut up books. Bob gives us yellow and blue short pixie look. Cute. Derek is just serving us a paper mache bustier. But it's more busted than bustier. Bless. <laughs> and Chi Chi shreds it. How's your shred? She hasn't had any complaints. It's very origami. Then come critiques. Naomi loves her mama. And she sobs about it. Bob's hair, I just want to live in. It's like she's got every supreme on her head, but no paper in her look. It's just shingles. Maybe she's going to a shingles bar. Wouldn't shingles be like a good drag name? I want to be like shingles. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting shingles. And she's, but she's always in pain. Basically, everybody gets good critiques, except for Derek. Oh, but she tried hard and looks hard. Shit. VCs, <laughs> what'd you say? She's amazing. Meanwhile, David Sedaris loves Chi Chi's voice. I could listen to her talk forever. Oh my God, we're the same person. Because I could listen to Chi Chi say anything. But also, David Sedaris is captivated by this sad, mournful, closeted Kim Chi drag. Hmm. Which is kind of like the weirdest praise ever on Drag Race and completely makes sense. Michelle is loving Chi Chi. And can somebody get RuPaul an inhaler? Bring back my <laughs> girls. Chi Chi is safe. Kim Chi turns over a new leaf, fly, flower, sprout, she wins. I did not see that coming. So Naomi is saved, which means, <laughs> Bob is on the bottom? But that, that, that is, that's like leaving real words. It's like a foreign language. Bob is on the bottom. Well, bleh. And Derek is on the bottom too. Girl, she tried. P.S. Speaking of books, Britney Spears authored a book. It was called Heart to Heart. Co-written with her mom, Lynn Spears, about their amazing bond and friendship, which came out in 2000. It's like they predicted this mom-related book challenge. But then in 2010, Lynn Spears authored Through the Storm, her own personal story about the torment of raising a famous child. Oh, they do grow up, don't they? And girl, somebody better hand somebody a tambourine because the lip sync is Mighty Real by Sylvester. Yes, get it, Cockettes! Sing it, Pigeon. Classic! Also, this may be the first lip sync song in Drag Race history sung by a man that was not RuPaul. A door has been opened. Whoosh. Derek is kind of giving me cheerleader ice skatey thing. Oh, bless. But Bob gives her props after Bob stays, and Derek does bid us a happy farewell. Thank you so much. Oh, out of bread. So we got a final four Naomi, Kimchi, Chi Chi, and Bob. I gotta say, I did not see this coming weeks ago. Work it out, girls. Suck on that white privilege. So it goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover. And I guess that was the lesson we learned today. And that's one to grow on. Like the sprout on Kim Chi's head. Bye!